How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters DLC video for you all today and it is the big one we've all been waiting for. Not only do we have our hands on a ton of new Roshi information including gameplay but we've also finally learned the release date of the character which surprisingly might be a lot earlier than a lot of us were thinking. It is September 18th and as a bonus if you have the season pass you actually get the character two days earlier than that. So for most of us we will get the character on September 16th. Now for a release date I'm actually pretty psyched about that. Like I said, I thought it was going to be way later on in the month, maybe somewhere in the late 20s. So obviously I'm ecstatic we're getting him as early as we are, but now we can jump into some of the actual gameplay and other information we got for the character, including his introduction cutscene for when you start off games. And I gotta say, for being as simplistic as it is, it is one of the better animated intros in the game. Like, I, I don't know, I really enjoyed this. I guess you can let me know down below in the comments whether or not you like these uh, less uh, spectacular intros, but... I don't know. Something about this really does it for me. Now, in terms of other cosmetic stuff we got, we already knew about his outro. We also get to see that again. But I also wanted to discuss another slight visual Easter egg, which is while Master Roshi does indeed start the fight with his glasses, if you take enough damage, he will lose the glasses forever. Uh, and you can see that in his outro animation and also in the gameplay. So, so obviously, it's really cool that that visual is kept throughout the entire thing. And I think it acts as probably one of the more interesting battle damage kind of things we have in the game. So I would love to see some other characters just get some more noticeable changes when they're battle damaged as opposed to when they just start off the round. In terms of supers, we actually got to see all three of the supers we know about right now. So that is the Mafuba, which does indeed force a switch out on your opponent's character. It doesn't look like it actually locks them out. It might for a little while, but nothing extremely noticeable. I wouldn't say that's a necessarily a big plus of the move, but it does give you that snapback if you have no other options or you just want to do it at the end of a really long combo. But we also get to see Master Roshi's other level one in case you don't want to snap them back out, which is this all out fury pummel move unfortunately they don't actually land it so we can't see what that animation looks like but we can confirm it is a level one and we have heard about this move in the v jump so we know roughly what it is other than that we also get to see his level three finally fully animated the original kamehameha and i am stoked to see this it looks perfect i'm glad they went with this move as his level three uh, i think it came out perfectly honestly now moving on to more of roshi's special moves we can see a weird projectile that he throws to the upright i don't know too much about what this does because they just clearly whiff it in the video but i don't know it seems like a weird move to have for him considering he also has access to the electricity attack uh, that he can just do that's unblockable in the air so that's really really good forgive me i can't remember the actual name from dragon ball uh it's really escaping me right now but this uh is unguardable in the air so gonna be a really good tool against any air approaches any of that um jumping back and blocking style of things super dashes things of that nature this is going to be master roshi's go-to tool and in my opinion i would probably say one of the moves to look out for this might be a really strong option for him uh, i'll definitely be giving it a look as soon as the character drops and as far as that goes i think that might genuinely be it for the specials we see i could be missing one or two but they honestly don't go for a lot of input moves these are actually two uh, relatively newer players to the game but i appreciate them showing off the gameplay regardless as far as other things we can see we can see his medium auto combo which of course leads into the mafuba which makes me think that this might be master roshi's dhc combo uh, i really hope it's not because that would really impact uh, how you go out into a you you don't want to snap out everybody you uh dhc a level one and two uh, if that makes any sense so hopefully that's not the case but we'll see and we also get to see his light auto combo which is pretty standard but now we've made it into the real meat of the video yes of course we are talking about how master rochi approaches neutral uh without super dash so we've known this character will not have a super dash for a while at least in theory but a lot of people were still holding on to the hope that maybe it's like not super dash but you know it pretty much works like super dash like the reverse kamehameha would track in some way but we can now say no they are really committing to this there are a few aspects where i do have to admit it does function like super dash so think of like off of 2h roshi will just leap to them you don't have to worry about that missing it looks like um and off of things like a dragon rush roshi actually does a really cool animation where he does actually use the reverse kamehameha to pick himself off the ground and follow them which i thought was really cool but as far as things like in neutral when you're jumping that kamehameha does not track in fact you'll just fly horizontally now while we're on the topic of this i do gotta point out that we were right in one of the past videos that when master roshi tags in this man just flies across the thing he does not tag in and super dash he tags in wherever you are horizontally and just flies straight <laughs> with the the kamehameha it's so funny i really liked it he actually gets stuffed by go tanks in this clip not the best showcase for it but <laughs> it is super interesting so that's what master roshi does instead of super dashing in the air he does this kamehameha horizontally and just flies in a straight direction it does look pretty slow he does have one that launches him diagonally i don't know how he does that exactly but that also looks pretty slow so it doesn't look like a really great option and then master roshi has 
the much better alternative when, he, when he's on the ground, uh, which is called Master's Leap. Now, again, this is something that we would need to see in the hand of much more experienced players to really get a handle on what this is fully capable of, but it does look relatively fast. Master Roshi can pass through Key Blast with this move, so it's not like this is going to be a 10-0 matchup for Broly. He's not going to just destroy him, although I will say he probably will still destroy him because <laughs> it doesn't look that flexible, right? Master Roshi can't do this jump in the air, so it's still going to be a struggle without that Super Dash. In fact, I would say the character is still worse off for it. I mean, we'll definitely see how much the mix-up potential is there for that Master's Leap, but I would still say I'm relatively worried for the strength of the character uh, without that dash. It is important to note that you can short hop forward and back and uh, big hop forward. It looks like that's all we've seen from this video anyway, but it does look very strong, and I'm sure it will be a very aggressive tool. And other than that, Master Roshi just kind of looks aggressive in his gameplay regardless. This man is swinging on people, hitting them with this pole. I'm like, damn, it is really not that bad, Master Roshi. Uh, also, we should talk about how his color, too, is actually like a weird uh, Goku gi. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks goofy on Master Roshi, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I do appreciate it. I think that might actually be it for this gameplay and information video. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting too long because, I don't know, there's so much information to go through here, and we can definitely just go through it relatively quickly. But let me know down below what your thoughts are on this character right now. Are you liking what you're seeing? Do you like the animations? Do you think he's going to be good? And who do you want to see for the next character? While you're leaving me your thoughts on all that down below in the comment section, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channels because we are going to be doing a ton of Roshi stuff here. We are going to be learning the character a full week of ranked matches, things like that. We are going to be putting people in the Mufuba jar. It is going to be a lot of fun, so definitely make sure to stick around. Other than that, check out some other videos that should be on your screen right now if they catch your eye. I have been Dr. Doya, and I will see you in the next one.